Hi, so you're looking forward to your new Beamer horse set coming to you, and this is what you have to look forward to. Box like this is gonna arrive, and inside is going to be this beautiful Beamer horse set right here in this lovely box. On the top here is a rip strap, and you just pull this, One side it says here, design award winner 2021 and red dot winner 2020, which is awesome. And you'll soon see why your box opens from the top this way. And inside you have these beautiful bags with your Beamer horse set inside. So here we can open the first bag, which contains your carry case. And this protective cover comes off. Inside here, you have your handle that Velcro's closed and you have dual zippers. And that's so much, so that too much weight isn't on any one zipper at any one time. Velcro's open. Inside you have your main components. You have your orange bag. Inside this lovely bag, you have your chargers and adapters. You also have your leg cuffs individually wrapped. One and two. You also have your owner's handbook and of course your brand new Beamer horse blanket which is beautifully packaged. <laughs> what do you think? Huh Callie? We can unfold it. The buckles are all protected here and the straps. You've got adjustable straps on the chest a girth strap that's adjustable as well as on the back you've got two leg straps which are movable and can also be used as a tail cord so your bag your blanket your two leg cuffs are here then in this bag, you have the beautiful cooler that comes with this. And this is to keep your horse clean, or you can use it as a show cooler. Uh, you can use it under your horse, Beamer horse blanket to keep the blanket clean. Um, and it's also very, very snuggly and gorgeous and thick and it's a lovely addition to the Beamer horse set. When you first get your Beamer horse set, you're going to want to plug it in to charge it. And so you have two different chargers here. You've got the charger that goes to the wall with international adapters. So if you travel with your Beamer horse set, you'll be able to always use it appropriately plugged in. So here you have the main plug and one charger for the battery. And then you also have a Y charger. And the Y charger is so that you can do more than one charging device at a time, plugged into the same outlet. And so that is this Y charger. And that just plugs into the end of your single adapter here, your single charger like that. So now you can plug in two at the same time. When you first get your blanket, you're going to want to pull out the correct adapter for your type of electricity. So here in the US, we'll use our US adapter for our plugs here. So when you look at your adapter, there's a groove in the top 
and a slot in the bottom and a curved end and a square end. So the square end goes up first and then just clips right in there. And if you want to change it, you just push down on this lever and it pops out. Okay. When you first get your blanket and you want to charge it, um, you can use your Y chargers and the charger plugs in to the slot on the side of the battery, like so, this way, like that, and this way, like that. And what you can see, the red light means there's not enough charge. And so now it's gonna start blinking and that's telling us that it's charging. When you first introduce your Beamer blanket to your horse, you always wanna turn it on before you put it on the horse for the first time. That just makes sure that the horse can sense the signal and that it's not gonna be startling or alarming to them because they're very sensitive to this type of, of energy. Control box has three settings. You have setting one is one dot, it's five minutes and the lowest intensities. Setting two is two dots, it is 10 minutes and the medium intensities. And setting three is the highest intensities and 15 minutes. When you wanna turn the blanket on, you just press and hold any of the three buttons until the three lights light up. That tells you that it's on. Those three lights are battery indicator lights. Select the setting you want, in this case setting one, and hold that for two seconds to turn the unit on and it will start blinking. It will automatically turn off after the appropriate time, so level one is five minutes of time. I'm going to show the blanket to the horse and make sure that she's comfortable with it before putting it on her. You okay with that? She says, looks pretty good, mom. You always wanna have a clean blanket on your horse um, because we don't wanna risk any transmission of uh, skin issues or things like that between horses. So each horse should have a clean blanket. The beamer signal will go right through a winter blanket on a horse or a sheet of any kind. So you don't have to worry about um, the blanket interfering with the benefits of the beamer signal. Just lay it gently over her because I know she's okay with blankets. The Beamer blanket is highly adjustable. In the chest, you have um, Velcro straps, which can lengthen or shorten the chest attachments and the buckle on the chest. She's small, so I'm going to make it short for her. And we have the same one here on the other side. You can make it longer or shorter. I'm gonna make it short for her. And then buckle that using the T buckle in the center, like so. Then I'm going to slide the blanket back on her back and make sure it's centered and positioned well. This is the appropriate location. We want the wither part over the wither and slid back so it's closed on the chest. Then I'm going to do the surcingle around the middle. And we want this to also to be fairly snug you wanna make sure that you know that the horse is okay with girthing before applying the surcingle. And it can be adjusted here, tighter or looser, depending on the horse's comfort and the fit that you want. In the back, we have three Velcro attachments that adjust the tail flap. You want the tail flap to lie nicely on the horse's hind end for maximum coil uh, coverage without being too long. So make sure that the horse is comfortable with Velcro before you adjust these uh, flaps. You could always do this off the horse if the horse is more comfortable with that. So you can open the Velcro and help it lie flat wherever you'd like it. The top tail part has Velcro in the center and then has a slide attachment here in the center to make it longer or shorter. So you just wanna make sure it's covering their rump adequately, like so. And then there's one adjustment also on the other side. So we'll just, make, oh, good girl. Just make sure that that's all lying nicely. 
And then that's it. We're gonna let her relax. Always make sure that your horse is attended with their beamer blanket on. Never leave them unattended. And um, let them relax and enjoy their beamer session. The beamer leg cuffs are amazing as a tool to help the horse. They are three times the intensity as the blanket. Although, the control box works the same way. The leg cuff also has a liner on the inside, which is Velcroed in, so you can remove it if you want to put the leg cuff over a bandage, or um, if you have a horse that has a, a thicker leg, this can be removed. The leg cuffs have a right and a left with the box usually going to the outside. And the beamer name will go onto the hoof itself, like so. Most horses don't mind the leg cuff at all. But obviously, if they're not familiar with something around their leg, you want to be extra safe and cautious with first application. When you want to put the leg cuff on the horse's back leg, make sure that you're especially safe and out of a kick zone. So approaching the back leg, I'm going to turn away from the back leg, touch her back leg, and make sure that she's OK with me applying this leg cuff before I set it around her leg. And then wrap it around. Notice that I'm keeping myself turned away. And there we go. Uh-huh. Good job, kiddo. It's okay. Good job. Because the beamer leg cuff is three times the intensity of the horse blanket, it's often helpful to use it for specific areas of concern on other parts of the horse. Like, for example, the pole, the neck, the knees, the hocks, or the stifles. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ideas on where you can put this leg cuff to help you best. So remember that the liner is removable. So sometimes for best fit, we need to take the liner out just so we have a little bit more room in the beamer leg cuff. You can place the leg cuff on the withers, on the croup. You can slide it onto any part of the back that's a specific area of concern. You can also put it on the neck. We often use a polo wrap or an extra piece of Velcro to secure the leg cuff on the neck. You can also connect two leg cuffs together and I Velcroed them together on the other side and now, depending on the size of your horse's neck, of course, these attach together quite nicely and the whole neck is getting beamer signal. If you need an extension, just get some extra Velcro and make yourself some extenders or use a polo wrap to wrap them safely on the horse's neck. There is no up or down with the beamer leg cuff. So when you put the leg cuff on some places, the fetlock bump will help you with fit. So for example, on the pole, you can place the leg cuff here by the horse's pole and slide it up under the halter just a little bit and it will hold the leg cuff in place on the horse's pole. You can also then use the leg cuff upside down, so to speak. If this is the part where the, the hoof normally goes, you can turn it upside down and this area is recessed, will accommodate the horse's knee quite well. Like so. You can also use the beamer leg cuff on the horse's hock by turning it upside down so the fetlock is over the hock. Always make sure that the horse is comfortable with something on its hind leg.
like so. A few more care and use tips for your Beamer horse set. You want to keep your Beamer horse set out of the hot and cold extreme temperatures as much as possible, store it in a temperature controlled place and charge the batteries in a temperature controlled space. Uh, you wanna let your lithium ion batteries uh, go down in charge as much as possible before you recharge them. And to clean your blanket, you just wanna wipe it down with a damp cloth or a disinfecting wipe do not get your blanket wet. When you're ready to put your Beamer horse blanket away, make sure it's turned off. If there's any of the session left, you can just hold a button and it will turn off. Unbuckle your blanket, take it off of your horse. Then line it up by folding it down the spine of the blanket like so. Fold the chest flap down, and then fold your blanket in half, like so. Then fold it in half, and then in half again. Your extra cords and buckles just tuck right in. And then in your bag, you can just slide it in the larger side, like so, and Velcro it in. Then your leg cuffs go on the skinny side, like so. And like so. Then close the top. Make sure that both zippers are closed. And the Velcro is firmly attached and you're all set to take your horse set with you. So I hope this has been helpful and any questions, please get with the person who introduced you to Beamer. Thanks so much.